careening towards space at a velocity of four meters per second. This balloon will travel to the edge of the atmosphere, to the border area between planet Earth and space. Aboard, no seasoned astronauts, but tourists. The journey is the brainchild of this team in Toulouse, France. The concept of Zefalto is born a bit of a dream. The concept of Zafalto stemmed from a dream. The idea is to approach the stars as if you're on a sailboat. Concretely, the balloon will slowly rise 25 kilometers in an hour and a half, and then the passengers will see the curves of the planet plunge into the darkness of space. They'll be able to see the stars, the sunrise, from the stratosphere, with around 98% of the atmosphere below them. This machine, provided by the French National Center for Space Studies, has allowed the company to recreate the extreme conditions the balloon will encounter at an altitude of 25 kilometers, a feat which has yet to be tested so far. We've already trialed flights, but at low altitude. The next step will be flights at a higher altitude in the stratosphere, test flights. Then, we can obtain the certification that will allow us to run commercial flights towards the end of 2024. Zafalto isn't the only company developing projects like this one. Whether or not it takes off, stakeholders say it could spur more research and development. If the French National Center for Space Studies can contribute its knowledge and know-how and boost a sector of the economy, that's great. And if this knowledge is returned thanks to this company, and this contributes to the advance of technology and science, then why not? The first flights, scheduled in 2025, are all already sold out. They came at a heavy price tag, around 120,000 euros per head.